Jokic out to Smith. He's got the corner and the end zone. Touchdown. Over the middle, he's got his receiver, White. Makes a good move. He's going to go all the way at the five. Touchdown. On to return is homage. He's got Smith to beat. Can he get to the end zone? Touchdown. Going to the corner. Wrap up there, and he makes a catch. Touchdown. What a grab. We're at North High School where the Raiders tonight will take on Green Bay West in homecoming 2006. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, uh, North, possibly North and South are looking at a playoff berth, but tonight's game looms very large in their uh, efforts to get to the playoffs. Absolutely, just three games remain and just a host of schools at two and two in the conference, including Sheboygan North and Sheboygan South. And the task tonight for uh, the, Ra uh, the Raiders is Green Bay West. They're at the bottom of the conference, but don't be, you know, don't. it's one of those games where you better not take for granted because they got a load of speed there and, you know, they're here for the upset burden. North went up to Green Bay East, spoiled their homecoming, and that's what West wants to do against these Raiders. We talked to Steve Brixen uh, when they got back to Sheboygan last Friday, and he told them after the game, look at those kids, that's what their homecoming is like. Make sure our homecoming isn't the same way. Exactly, and it's, it's all going to have to see. You know, they've two games in a row now, the defense has not allowed a touchdown. They've just been unbelievable. Spirits are high. Two weeks ago, they got a win here that, you know, it's like they won the uh, Super Bowl or something like that. Now they got a winning streak, you know, and, you know, now, the, you know, not only do you have a winning streak, you start thinking about the playoffs a little bit. They have their task in front of them. They have West tonight, Notre Dame, and then they finish up with South right here. So it's very possible for uh, both North and South to make the playoffs. Now, coming into tonight's game, we read a little bit about uh, the quarterback for West. He's a fast guy. They like to run uh, shotgun offense, and uh, he's the guy you really got to look out for. Yeah, as, as I said before, speed is something West has. It's a good thing that North, the one thing they do have, they're not big, but at least they're fast. And they got Nate Hummage and Eric Seafeld, a couple guys that are really, really quick. So they can counter a little bit with that West thing. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, if you're big and, you know, slow, maybe uh, you, you could maybe worry a little bit. But, but I think that there is a strength to North. It is their speed. Matt Rosie and uh, uh, Thompson, those kids are, are really tough. So, you know, the speed might counter West, but, you know, I'm scared a little bit about, you know, the big play tonight, the turnover, and again, falling behind and, you know, taking things for granted because a couple weeks ago, you were hoping to get your first win. Now, all of a sudden, you start thinking way in the back of your head, oh, we're good enough to make the playoffs, but we just got to take care of business tonight. Good point, Chris. I talked to Trevor Tagle before we came on the air, and he said that was one of the themes all week. Don't have a letdown. You know, this is a very important game. We're going to step out right now, and we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the kickoff for tonight's ballgame. So stay tuned. Community TV stations across the country, where 1.2 million volunteers produce over 20,000 hours of programming each week. Current legislation threatens to eradicate these stations by dramatically reducing funding. In the legislation's current form, stations across the country will lose 35 to 50 percent of their funding, which would bring production to a grinding halt. Contact Congress and tell them to vote no on H.R. 5252. Speak out now or lose your voice. Across America, service learning is helping students improve their grades and their communities by connecting the classroom with community service. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Get your school involved. Visit learnandserve.gov to find out how. Back at North High School, let's go through the starting defense for Sheboygan North. Nate Hummich, number two, a senior, he's 5'10", 170, will be starting at a cornerback. Martin Alvarez, number six, is a junior, he goes 5'11", 148, will be at the other corner. David Thompson, uh, safety, he's a 5'9", 172 junior, he's number eight. Eric Seafelt, number 22, is a six foot, 200 pound senior, he'll be at a safety. Matt Rolsey, number 35, is a six foot, 205 pound Junior be in the starting defensive line, lineup along with Ben Chambers, number 51. He's a senior, goes 6'1", 192. Mark Robitaille is a 5'10", 183 senior. He'll be starting in the line. Antonio Colon is a defensive end. He goes 5'10", 192. He's number 68. Ryan Hamilton, a senior, number 70, goes 5'11", 185. He'll be starting 
at a linebacker spot. TJ Carter, number 80, is a 6'3", 188 senior. And rounding out the uh, starting defensive lineup for the Raiders is Mike Granke, number 86. He goes 6 feet, 170. He'll be a linebacker and uh, not too many 200 pounders on that starting line. Hey, Coach Brixen calls him the uh, smallest Division I program probably, but I'll tell you what, they got a lot of heart. Back-to-back -back wins, they have a winning streak. Defeated Green Bay East, a very tough opponent. Coach Colstead always has his kids prepared, 21 to zip last week, as I said in the opening, two straight games without allowing a touchdown. And that Southwest team we saw last week, for those yeah. of you who don't know, they beat Green Bay Notre Dame, who I thought was by far the best team we've seen so far. Travis Vandewater on the kickoff. Taken at about the 17 yard line. And hit and dropped was uh, Reggie Mitchell, number 32. The first and 10 for West. Also talking to uh, Coach Brixen and Coach Thompson. They have said that uh, Coach Tagle, who basically runs the defense, uh, has really done an outstanding job scouting to the opponents the last two weeks and really shut them down. So give him some credit along with his defensive unit. In the shotgun is Anthony Lehman, number 10. We'll see a lot of that tonight. Inside handoff. And uh, the running back gets it out to about the 35. On the carry was Bo Rogenbauer. Not much of a win tonight, Marty. It is a little chilly. Days it's have been actually a beautiful night for a ball game. You get yeah. the full moon. It's uh, getting uh, covered up a little bit by the clouds in the sky, but uh, yep. mostly a great night. Looks like that October sky. Exactly. Second and six. Lehman fakes the handoff, trying to go to the outside. Now cuts it back up, and he's going to get hit right at the line of scrimmage and push back. A lot of razzle-dazzle, Marty. A lot of this and that with his feet. A little more uh, north-south, as they say, probably would be a more effective. No gain on the play. Third down and six for... Uh, West. This is kind of a long distance to go, Chris. North not showing blitz. Lehman rifles one across the middle. He's got his receiver for the first down. Nice catch made by Brandon Lardnoise. Yep, right. Just a nice little uh, kind of like a down and in a little bit on Granky there. I think what they're going to do is. Uh, they kind of have to have a spy. Their linebackers are probably going to have to watch Lehman. He's probably someone who's going to get out. You know, if things aren't are breaking down in the uh, secondaries, uh, got all the receivers covered, don't be. He'll probably be somebody who'll tuck it under and run. So, probably be some spies on him. Well, Lehman goes under center. The big fullback leading the play, but uh, North stacks it up pretty well. Gain out to the 46. That pass play, by the way, went for nine yards. Uh, I don't know if we mentioned, but uh, Daryl White, number 92, is a 330-pound senior. Will line up at fullback, and uh, how much does he weigh? 330. He's bigger than Refrigerator Perry. <laughs> Look at the size of that guy in the backfield. <laughs> Do you think he gets it on uh, third and one? <laughs> really? <laughs> he handed off to White, and he's getting pushed back. <laughs> or they give it to him on second and nine. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Daryl White on the carry. I know my, I know I should be playing line, but my mom and dad said I should play fullback. <laughs> Is anyone going to tell him he can't? <laughs> Third down and uh, six. Good rush, and it's going to be a sack. Coming in is Demond Buckner getting Anthony Lehman for the sack. Wow. Good play. 
Here you see the replay, Marty. Plays outside end here. I don't think anybody's going to touch him. Oh, wow. A little chug, but certainly not enough. Wow, great play by the Raiders. Just what you wanted, a punt situation. Loss of seven on the play makes it fourth down and about 13. Kick is away, nice high one, but uh, good decision made by Seafeld to let it bounce. And it's gonna be down inside the 25 yard line. Once Seafeld saw he couldn't come up and make the catch, or an easy catch rather, he let it bounce and I thought that was a good decision by him. Yeah, wasted a good block there by Nate Hummage. He just took down his guy. A decleater? Yeah. <laughs> The ball is spotted, I think it's gonna be, we'll call it the 25, it's pretty close to the 25. First and 10 north. Jones a fullback, Ragoza is out at a wing back, or Thompson coming in motion, Ragoza is a tail. Hand off to Jones inside, battling forward, and gets it out near the 30, good gain. David Thompson gonna be running the ball a little bit. Cesar Ragoza had an outstanding ball game a week ago. Noel Deppies is now in the mix, number 14. Pickup of uh, about six yards on the play. Nate Hummage will get some time back there. They have just a host of different runners and uh, backs that will carry the ball. Seafeld wide to the right. Marafino inside handoff to Ragozzi. He's hit right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard, that was about it. West playing good defense. Stacking up the play. Stacking up the play was the fullback. <laughs> Daryl White. Playing a defensive back. <laughs> Def <laughs> or no. defensive tackle. tackle. Pardon me. <laughs> Third down and four. Numbers have always been a problem at West, keeping kids eligible of late. They used to be a power way back when, but not anymore. Ian Andrews in motion. Fake handoff, Marafino rolling, rolling throws at the last second. His ball is intercepted by Anthony Lehman. Waited till the last second and just didn't have a lot of mustard on that throw. Yeah, he uh, pump faked and then threw the second one. And by that time, the uh, West receivers were right there. And there's that turnover we didn't want there. Here you see it, watch him, he's gonna fake. Then he gets pressure and then again, he overshot uh, Deppies and uh, Miss Seafelt. First and 10 for West, ball on the 38 yard line. They have a short field to work with. In the shotgun formation, four wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right. Lehman, quick out, has his receiver. He dropped the ball or popped out of his hands. North had two players that could have made the catch. Nate Hummich, one of them, but he bumped into his own man. I believe he bumped into Matt Rolsey, well, and think, uh, they uh, knocked the ball away from each other. I think David Thompson's the one that actually had it in his paws. And okay. Bad, uh, bad, bad break there. I, I like that play. See it right here, Chris. Yeah, I like that play. West is uh, coming in here to win a ball game tonight. There's no doubt about it. Oh, mm. yep, it was David Thompson. But you're right. Rolsey collected him there. Inside, they're going reverse action and getting some blocking and wow. taking it out for a nice game was Brian Gajewski, number two. Good pursuit there by David Thompson. He came streaking in there. Nice play, pickup of about six yards on the play. Martin Alvarez Gajewski. over there too. Third down and four. Lehman in the shotgun. Good rush by Buckner. Lehman taking it right up the middle. Slips by a couple of tacklers before he's finally ripped down near the 25 yard line. Good quick decision by Lehman to take it and tuck it under and run. Yeah, I think that was a called play and you can see he's fast. I told you he's gonna be quick. 
Two-step drop, and right up the gut. Good downfield blocking there. First down, West. Ball is on the 25-yard line. Pick up a seven on the play. First and 10. Pitch out the running back, trying to cut it back. Can't do it, and he's stacked up behind the line of scrimmage. And we got a penalty on the play. On the carry for West was Reggie Mitchell. Holding. West. Penalty on West. North will definitely want to push him back on this play. Get him further away from the end zone. Good shot of, I think that's Chambers, number 35. Or Matt Rolsey, pardon me. Or is that 52? Mark Robitaille. West comes in 0 6, 0 4 in the conference. Uh, basically playing for pride now. Ball is outside the 35 at the 37 yard line. It'll be first and a bunch. First and 22. Lehman barking out the signals. Gives it to the first back through. And uh, White goes down at about the 35. Not much of a gain there. You know, Chris, I don't think he's going to have an impact, you know, when you want him to gain big chunks of yardage. You know, it's when you got uh, third and short, like you mentioned before, that he could make a difference. Well, I was thinking someday these kids are going to say, you know, back when I played, yeah, this really. team had a 330-pound guy that carried the Oh, no way, Dad. Oh, yeah? Well, they'll pull out their TV8 tape and show the 330-pounder, but... Uh, on second and 20, I don't think he's going to be in the game. Spread offense. They got three wide receivers to the left. Pass is complete. Still on his feet and running for yardage is Gajewski, and uh, he gained a big chunk of yardage on that play, Chris. I like that play call too, Marty. It's, uh, you know, most teams think, oh, we got third and 20. We got to better make up a big chunk here, throw it downfield. Why don't we just pick up a little bit? And uh, that's what they did, made it uh, you know, third and 14 instead of you know, making an incomplete pass or throwing it away. Nice safe pass there by West. Third down and 13, pick up a seven on the play. Ball on the 28. Lehman straight back, he's being rushed. Oh, they missed him. Two guys had a shot at him, couldn't get him. Fumble. And there's a fumble. Looks like North may have it. There's a big scramble. Lehman comes out of the pile with it. How did that happen? They whistled it dead. Well, it's going to be interesting to see who has the ball. <laughs> well, here's the replay, Marty. There it's on the ground. And he did. That, that play should have been, should not have been called dead. No, nope, they didn't look like it. Yeah, I thought that uh, number Unless, 52, uh, Mark Robitaille had that ball, but uh, unfortunately he didn't gobble it up, and then I think it squirted away. And unfortunately for West, they're going to have fourth and 12 here. Actually, it's going to be fourth and nine. They picked up three yards oh, I'm on sorry, that yeah, goofy you're play. Nine. Yeah. Pick up a four on the play. Lehman fakes the pass, now he comes back this way. Had his receiver, Rogenbauer open, but uh, Bo is not able to hang on to the throw, and it'll be fourth down. I like that play call too, Marty. That had a lot of flow of gold going the wrong way. A little misdirection. A little misdirection never hurt anyone. That was fourth down, it's gonna be first and 10 for uh, Sheboygan North, ball on the 24 yard line. We've played eight and a half minutes and it's all been on the wrong end of the field if you're a Raider fan. Yeah, a lot of uh, 
West offense in the first quarter. Very little of Sheboygan North. Second back through is uh, Jones, and he gets very little, if anything, on the carry. Tell you, field position is just a huge, huge thing in high school football. And uh, well, the thing with North too, Chris, is you know they don't have that uh, big buster. You know, a guy's going to rip off a 50 yards at a chunk, and you know they're just a. They need a short field to operate on, is what yep. I'm saying. Well, they had that beautiful drive a couple weeks ago for 10 minutes, but they didn't score. Yeah, really. So we know, I mean, that was just, like you said, Marty, something that they do. do. They can chew up, little, you know, big chunks and drives, but uh, you're right. Marafino keeping gets bumped by his own guy and goes down. Not much of a gain there. Marafino running the keeper. It'll be third down. That turn that pickle upfield. Ball is at the 23 yard line. Actually, they're giving him a loss of a yard on the play, on loss of a yard on the on that play. So it's going to be third down and 11. Thompson, the deep back, pitch out to him. It's a good block. He's got room to roam. He's going to get knocked out of bounds near the 35 yard line, which should be enough for a first down. Going wide. Taylor Coulter on the key block. He kicked it out, the sophomore. You know, I saw that block and I thought they might get a hold. <laughs> I thought so too. But uh, dragged him out of there or pushed him out of there and cleared a big hole. And there you see it. Yep. But. Uh, Got the job done and good job, Taylor. There's a Coach Brixen. Gain of 12, it's first and 10 ball, spotted right on the 35 yard line. Thompson is the deep back. They got a full house backfield. Give it to Thompson, off tackle. Spins his way forward for maybe a yard. Again, West uh, playing solid defense up front. Yeah, I thought there was gonna be a bigger carry. Uh, David had a whole load going forward, but uh, Number 51, Andrew Wickman gobbled him up at the ankles there. Ragoza, number one, coming in there. You see him bringing in the play for uh, Stefan Marafino. Jones, the middle back. Hummich and Ragoza, wings left and right. Hand off to Ragoza trying to take it wide and uh, West had it read well. Not much of a gain for Ragoza, maybe a yard if that. Third down. I'm giving him nothing on that, Chris. It's third and nine. Ball still on the 36. Tight formation by the Raiders. Now Ragoza comes out wide to the left. Seafelt going wide right. Blitz coming. Inside handoff and they got the bet running back in the backfield. Oh, it, there looked like there was absolutely no blocking up front. And uh, first quarter is gonna run out. I didn't catch who that running back was on the carry, Chris, but uh, there was nothing going. Fourth down, ball spotted on the 32. Loss of four on the play. And that's the end of the first quarter. No score after one quarter play at uh, North High School. Homecoming 2006, we'll be right back. United Church of Christ. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. All over America, people are taking the national radon test. Have you? Answer true or false. Radon is a radioactive gas. False. True. 
It's true. It's a natural gas. The Office of the Surgeon General recommends all homes be tested for radon. Uh, false. False. True. true. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. False. It's true. Back to punt for North is uh, Nate Hummich. His kick is away. Nice spiral. It's going to get a nice bounce. Right. Down at the 40 yard line. You know, real interesting, Chris. The punt returner was Anthony Lehman, the quarterback. You don't see that all the time. No. Well, it oh, goes to his good speed. Debbie and Jan Herman. Yeah. The blondes are out in force. First down and 10 for West. Ball on the 40 yard line. They had an interception, had the ball way deep in uh, North Territory. Let's start your next sheet there, Marty. Yep, almost. First and 10. Uh, running in reverse, pitch back Flea to Lehman. Flicker. It's open. He's too. Looking, looking. Now he gets away. He's got some room to run. And he gets it out to near the 50 yard line. He's going to be just a little bit short. But uh, you talk about razzle dazzle, that was it. Yep, double reverse. To a flea flicker. To a flea flicker, and I'll tell you what, that uh, receiver was wide open downfield. Good pressure by the uh, Raiders. But again, you have to contain that guy. He's really quick. That goes right back to your real basic defensive fundamentals. Stay in your lane. You know, don't get, take yourself out of position. Yep. S Speed hurts, I'm telling you. I'm scared of that guy. Second and two. Inside handoff. Running back. Gets a first down. Rogenbauer on the carry. Got it into uh, North High territory. West controlling the ball. Rogan ball with a four yard pickup. Puts the ball on the north 48 yard line. And they're going downhill, Chris. Coming over is uh, Brandon Lardnoise, number three. Inside handoff to Rogan Bauer. He slips right through the line of scrimmage and he's on to the 40 yard line. A nice little crease, and uh, he hit it hard. Well, they're spreading you out. Spreading you out and just doing the work. Just marching down the field with their quickness. Eight yards on that play. You could practice and, you know, against the speed, but until those players are out there, it's very difficult to just know how quick they are. Lehman in the shotgun again. Rogan Bauer. To his left. Inside handoff. Rogan Bauer has got a big hole. He's down near the 30 and another first down. It's going to work. Just going to work in the middle. Ball is on the 31-yard line. That was a pickup of nine yards on that play. They're chewing up the clock and chewing up the yards. North needs to stiffen. Another inside handoff. That time they get a good tackle on Rogan Bauer. I think that was uh, Jones possibly on the tackle. Ben Chambers running in there okay. too. Pickup of one yard. Well, they're not bashful about giving it to that young man, Chris. He's had four carries in a row. See if they're setting you up with the uh, fake and then he keeps it himself. Shotgun formation again, Lehman takes the snap, looking, now he's forced out. Throws, intercepted. Nice interception made by Travis Vandewater. Well, I was going to say there. has got a penalty flag down. Hopefully that's not on north. They'll be able a, to keep possession. It's a hold, Marty. They were holding those guys. They were coming fast. 
You know, they're just grabbing the shirts. Just what we need is a turnover. I was hoping for something like that. Turn this field position around a little bit and give yourselves a chance. Now it's up to the offense to get to work here and put some points on the board. As this game is clicking away, we're down to 8.30 in the second quarter in a very, very fast half. Ball on the 33-yard line. Uh, not great field position, but uh, one of the better field positions North has had tonight. They got it on the 25 their first time, on the 24 their second possession, now on the 33 in their third possession. So they're uh, moving down the field a little bit. Scooting out here was uh, Patrick Hallbach, number 87, Ragosa in motion. They give it to him on the sweep. Gets a little bit of a block. He's through the line of scrimmage and it's gonna rip, get ripped down at about the 38 yard line. Yeah, a little better there. You're gonna see it slips through a little bit of a hole. Jones kind of missed the block, but uh, defender took himself out of the play. And as you look there, if you look on the tape tomorrow, uh, coach, see a lot of downfield blocking and people looking for their assignments there. Good job, gentlemen, and you gold. Second down and five. West than a 44 defense. Inside handoff to Thompson. He's ripped down at behind the line of scrimmage. Good penetration made by West. And making the stop was uh, your fullback friend, Daryl White, 92. <laughs> Ball is spotted back at the 34 yard line. That's a loss of four. Remember where, where he is and let's not run that way. Now he's lined up on the opposite side here. Marafino right in the middle, almost picked off. In and out of the hands of Seafelt. And then the West defender was not able to come up with it. Just yeah. like that, they're back out punting the football. Yes, sir. There's Coach Byens and Deezings. Harry Byens. You know, we got the turnover, but we weren't able to capitalize. Maybe we need another turnover. Yeah, they had that nice first run, too. Kick is away. It's a good one. Layman takes it on the hop. Slips by one tackler, but not the next three. Good job downfield by Sheboygan North. Well, Matt Rolsey, one of the principals making a stop. It'll be first and 10 west. Ball spotted are on the 40 yard line again. That's where they started their last possession, Chris. I'd like to see him start one on their 20 or <laughs> 10. <laughs> really, that would be nice. They have had good field position all half. A whistle. Guess we're playing. They put the clock in play. 7.04 remaining until halftime. Lehman picks it up. Flag right away. Seafeld cutting in front of the intended receiver. Almost had it but uh, had a big collision with his counterpart, part Mitch Vetch, and uh, the ball popped loose, but we had a flag right away. I think it's gonna be a legal shift or something. I don't think West was all squared there. No, yes, no, yes. Oh, they're gonna wave it off. Waving it off, so no penalty. I never saw anything, did you see anything? No. Okay. I saw the flag come out right away. There's gotta be a reason he did it. And that's what Coach Brickson asking. Now you threw it out there for a reason, or just why? Second down and 10. Three wide receivers off to the right. The widest of the three is Brandon Lardnoise, number three. Lehman stepping up. We got a flag down. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a hold, but uh, I'll tell you, Lehman is a uh, load. He can uh, really run that ball. But they're gonna be a hold on number 75. Number 75 with sick in his head, Brandon Husing. You are the guilty party. There's Cesar Ragoza. Yeah, just gonna say. 
Now, the penalty gets marked from the spot of the infraction, so. Uh, yep, 20 whoa. yard line. Yeah. Still second down, but it's gonna be a whole bunch more. Ball is spotted inside the 30 at about the 28. That would make it uh, second down and 22, I believe. Sound about right. Yep. Forgot my calculator again tonight. Second down and 22. West in the spread. We have three wide receivers off to the right again. Lone wide receiver off to the left. Lehman, quick pass up the middle. He's got his receiver. Making the catch was Justin Wetzel, number 82. See uh, Travis trying to get that paw in there, <laughs> almost yeah. knock it off, and the water. But uh, he hung on to it. First completion of the quarter for uh, Lehman. It's going to be third down and 12. Pick up a 10 on that play. Again, three wide receivers off to the right. Lehman pumping, dropping back, looking. Buckner trying to get him, couldn't get to him. Good block, he's got a lot of room to run up here. Throws it deep, he had a wide receiver open and making the catch was Bo Rogenbauer. Actually, he's a running back. Made a catch inside or right at the 40 yard line. It'll be a first down. All the feet. There of Lehman set up the situation there. You had the second line of defense trying to make a decision. Do we go forward in case he runs or do we stay back in case of the pass? And you know the you know they came snuck forward and Lehman just dumped it right over the top there and a big, big first down for West. Yeah, 22 yards. They're sticking with that same formation. Three to the right, one to the left. Rogenbauer on the inside handoff. Picks up about three yards. Setting you up, they're setting you up. Lehman's setting you up. I'm gonna give that dive. One of these times he's gonna fake to the bell and he's gonna take off. Make sure you have that spy right there on that guy. It's gonna be second down and eight. Well, they like this formation, Chris. Three to the right, one to the left. Spreading out. Fake and go. Fake it. Fumble. Lehman dropped it, had it bounce right up into his hands and almost ran for more yardage, but uh, North was there. Making the hit and causing the fumble was Matt Rolsey. Pick up a one yard on the play. North, a little bit fortunate. That it didn't go for more. Third down. Ball outside the 36. Now part of that might be the formation is because of the short side of the field over towards us. It's still got three to the right. And now we have a whistle, timeout north. First time out, there's 4.07 remaining. We have no score in the second quarter. And uh, it's been a lot of West offense. They're actually kind of fun to watch. Well, I was just looking at time of possession here. Norris had it for five minutes in the whole. That long? <laughs> in, the whole in the whole half. They had it for a uh, minute 20, and then they had it for 3.20. And, uh, so that means 75% of the time belongs to West. Yeah, it's been. Uh, it's hard to get to know the names of the North offensive players. Yeah, <laughs> there you see the moon, I think. It's kind of hazy. There's Coach Tagle here. We need two stops. Well, you gotta believe uh, they'll be going for it on fourth down. These actually, you know, you mentioned this in the opening, but these are the kind of teams that are really scary because they got nothing to lose. <laughs> you might as no. well go for it on fourth down. What the heck? And speed, and I'm just, you know, a little nervous about the speed. Oh, yeah, you, you slipped on, all of a sudden the guy's gone. Yep, so. Uh... All right, Lehman at quarterback. 
Logan Bauer, the halfback alongside of him. Third down. Pump fake, goes over the middle, incomplete. Got a good arm too, Chris. Yep, he pitches for West. But uh, I tell you what, that was wide open if he could execute that over the middle, but uh, looks to me like West is gonna punt. I'll tell you what, they don't go for the fake. <laughs> I mean, look out for the fake. We're gonna try to pin North back and dropping back to uh, do the punting is uh, Dustin Dupart. Back deep for North is Eric Seafelt. West is hoping that North makes a mistake here before half. Punt is away. That's a boomer. He got it up in the air and it goes out of bounds inside or right, right around the five yard line. Great punt. Holy cow. 3.54 remaining in the first half and North will have it first and 10, the worst field position they've had all night. Been in West Territory the whole ball game though. And uh, that ball had a lot of height on it. Yeah, he got it up in the air. Reggie Roby, remember him? Yep. Hunter for uh, Miami Dolphins? Yep. He went to the University of Iowa. I don't like Iowa football, by the way. <laughs> so you're not a big Hayden Fry fan, are I you? don't. They, they always beat them Badgers. Got to beat them. Jones, the lone setback. Thompson in motion. Uh oh. A fumble. Touchdown West. Touchdown got the fumble in the end zone. North fumbled a handoff. I believe it was going to uh, Nick Jones. And West fell on it for a touchdown. That's why they punted the ball, Marty. There I you think see it, it was uh, John LeCaptain recovering the ball in the end zone. Oh boy. Getting ready to attempt the extra point is uh, Brandon Lardnoise. And uh, great decision by Chris Wittick, the head coach for West. And uh, great execution by his punter. Kick is up and uh, creeps over the crossbar. The extra point is good. With 3.51 remaining in the first half, West on top, 7-0. High school where uh, lightning is struck for West. They had a great uh, punt by Dustin Dupart. He punted it out of bounds at the five yard line or the six yard line. And uh, on the first play from scrimmage, North fumbled a handoff and West recovered it in the end zone. I've got it down as uh, John LeCaptain recovering the, the fumble. We're not positive of that, but uh, in any case, West is on the board, seven to nothing. Well, the offense is gonna go right back out there. Good return here. And uh, see if he can get some points on the board before half. And North will get the ball to start the second half as well. Kick is away. Picking it up is a North return man and uh, getting pushed back was uh, Ian Andrews. I'll tell you, West is fired up. Yep. Got to give them that, boy. They're uh, on top of the world right now. Yeah, it was Shane Soik there. 
that uh, dropped that ball. I'll tell you what, uh, West is uh, just all playing North right now. Oh, for sure. I mean, they've dominated time of possession. They've dominated the uh, the uh, offense of yards, and uh, they took advantage of the turnover, which uh, North could not do earlier. See how that offense responds right here. A lot of time left. Thompson in motion. They give him the ball, going wide to the left. Slips by one tackler, but uh, can't get by the other. Picks up a few yards. Make it about five. Be second down and five. Got to be a little quick here, efficient. Down to 323. You got a lot of yards to go here. Pick up that first down here and stop the clock. Hallbach splits out wide left. Ragoza in motion to the right. Inside hand off a draw play. And uh, getting the first down for North was Cesar Ragoza, and he looks like he's hurt, Chris. It's Noel Deppies, I think. Oh, it is Cesar. Or no, it was Noel Deppies. Oh, it was? Number 11? 14. 14. Ball spotted on the 31-yard line. Pick up a six yards for Deppies. There you go, two big chunks there. Clock running, 350 and counting. 250. 250, pardon me. Inside handoff and knocked down was Thompson. Pick up of about three yards. Thompson just short of the 35 yard line. Two fifteen and counting. Second down. Marafino looking. Screen. Screen out to Jones. He's got it. Picks up a block. And heads out of bounds near first down territory. Not only that, he got out of bounds, which is a smart thing. Good call there by Coach Brixon, and they had that line all set up. That's a nice play. You can keep that in your back pocket and use that later. Pickup of only six yards, Chris. So no first down on the play. He got out of bounds, 202. Get that first down right here and now. Ball on the 40, they need to get to the 41. The clock is stopped with 2.02 remaining until halftime. Cannot have that. Timeout North, their second timeout. We're not sure what that was about. When you're driving down the field. Yeah, you wanna keep the momentum going. And you can't be taking timeouts when you gotta go 60 yards and two minutes. Our next game will be uh, next Friday, October 13th, when uh, Cedar Grove invades Lutheran Kohler at Kohler's Field. Uh, Cedar Grove has got a heck of a ball club. Uh, Lutheran Kohler is going to have their work cut out for them that game. I think they play uh, random tonight. They I do. Cedar Grove plays Random Lake tonight in uh, a big Central Lakeshore game. That's uh, going to be a big one. And uh, I believe the other really big game going on tonight is in Sheboygan Falls. Plymouth invades, and that's uh, homecoming for uh, the Falcons. And so a lot of big games going on tonight. Plymouth at three and one, falls at two and two. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> All right, North has used two timeouts. They have one remaining. It's third down and one. They trail Green Bay West seven to nothing. Tight formation. Thompson, the deep back. Give it to him, he fumbles the ball going through the line of scrimmage. I think he got it back, but uh, I'll tell you, North is not does not look sharp at all. A lot of mishandles of the snap and this and that. A couple times, you're right, they've dropped it, but uh, they got the first down what they need, a lucky break there. Let's 
Good thing Norse ready to roll. Get up, get up to the line. Don't go back to the huddle. Get up to the line. Oh, they're not gonna necessarily give him the first. They're coming out to measure. He's got the first. I already got it marked on in my paper. You're, I think you're right, Marty. Ooh, I don't know. I don't like where they're marking that. Oh boy. Unbelievable. They're looking again, and it's just short. You better get up to the line, boys. Oh boy, by a chain link. Well, I tell you, it was the fumble that cost him. I mean, if he gets the handoff and he's running forward, he's gonna get the first down. There's the uh, dance team there, Amanda. And Ashley. Brian making points on Julie. the sideline. Abby. And I believe North is going for it. They better be going for it. And I'll tell you what, it's gonna, the clock's gonna start rolling like right now. Marifino brings them up to the line. Full house backfield. I look for uh, Jones to get the handoff on this play. Go outside. And they call her last time out. They're going to punt it away. I don't know about that. I just. Clock is down to 139. You see what's going on tonight. It's uh, been a very low scoring affair. West has uh, controlled the first half in terms of the ball and on the defensive side. They have not uh, allowed North many first downs. This actually, Chris, is uh, along with one that finished out the first uh, quarter when North had a punt on the, you know, the last first play of the second quarter, but. Uh, They've only had the ball on this particular drive for five plays. The punt will be six. I don't think they're going to punt. They're going. Well, coming in. To be honest with you, I'd go for it too, Marty. Well, I, th I thought they should have right away. I think what they're hoping for was for West to jump offside, but they didn't. Well, you need the, you need the time if you're going to get the touchdown too. That's uh, another catch to this. That's right. What so you're wondering which way was he going with this? First down and we need the clock. Oh, uh, and they were in motion. The flag, I didn't see a flag come out though. <laughs> <laughs> the whole right side jumped. First down. Marafino on the carry, I believe, correct Chris? Yep, took a little bit of time, but. Uh, are you gonna see? Whoa! That or maybe Seafell just didn't go. <laughs> that could have been too. <laughs> Ball is on the 43-yard line. Pick up a three yards. First and 10 north. 126 and counting. He goes on a fake pitch. He's got Seafeld wide open. He's got it on a nice catch. Slips by one tackler. And Lehman gets him down inside the 40-yard line. First down, Raiders. Nice little pitch and catch here. Seafeld. Wide open, watch him break that big tackle, and then gets out of bounds. Good job, good play call there. 22-yard catch and kit, pitch and catch. Still got a lot of work out of you, boys. 113. Thompson and Ragosa, the wingbacks. Jones, the setback, the fullback. Thompson in motion, handoff to him, going wide left, cuts it back. And is going to get knocked down near the 30-yard line. You got to move now. You have no timeouts left. There you see uh, the replay. See what kind of blocking we have on the left side of the line. Hamilton kicking out. Yep. Got to stay with that block a little longer. Second down. Inside handoff to Jones. Battling forward. And near the first down. 40 seconds left and still moving and we don't have a first down. You got to get up there and sneak her. Third down. Sneak for the first. Come on. Dropping back is Marifino looking. Pumps one right up the middle. 
He's got his receiver, Seafelt, and he's knocked down. First down territory, there's 23 seconds remaining. Sure like to have those timeouts back. First down and 10. Ball spotted on the 22 yard line. You basically can't do anything but throw the ball here because the uh, clock will most likely run out unless you get a first down. Clock running 20 seconds. Marafino fake handoff, looking for Seafeld. Nope, throws it to the short man. Are they gonna give him the catch? Nope, short hopped him. Chance for Coach Brixen to call a play now. 13 seconds left. Second down and 10. Oh, thank you. Green Bay West calls out. Okay, we'll take it. Now you can think a little bit. And well, Chris, you know, they got the wide side to the left. The problem is Marafino rolling left. That'd be kind of a tough throw for him. But maybe a roll to the right and a screen back like they did before might work. Well, you basically got a pretty simple situation ahead here, Marty. Anything short of a first down and the, the quarter is going to end. Like to have those 20 seconds back and that timeout back. Yeah, that'd be a nice one to have, Chris. You gotta, I'm gonna give you that. One thing that North has not done much this half, Chris, has gone to uh, Jones. Of course, they haven't had the ball much to do that, but uh, we saw that the last time we were here against Preble, and boy, they used him uh, a lot in the second half, so we might see a lot of uh, Nick Jones in the second half, but uh, let's see if we can get a touchdown this half. How about right here, right now? It's second down and 10, ball spotted on the 22 yard line. There's 13 seconds remaining. Ball is over on the right hash mark. It's a tight formation. Deppie's wing to the right. Marafino faking the handoff, rolling left, looking, looking, he's got his receiver, Seafelt. And he's got a first down inside down the 10-yard line. Got to down the ball. Get up on the line and spot and set. Get set. Get set. Just get set. And down the football. Come on. Spikes Jeez. it. Three seconds left. Four seconds that took. Well, you got one play left. You either got to kick your field goal here. Or throw it in the end zone. Well, I, this is it. Yeah. Where it's located, Mario, it's going to be an awful tough field goal. So they're going to go for Well, the one seven. nice thing now, it's on the left hash mark. Right. If Marafino wants to roll to the right, you know, they'll have a better opportunity to throw it. Seafelt is the tight end on the right side. They've gone to him exclusively this quarter. Now we get whistles all over, and West calls another timeout. I would uh, take three here if you think you have a pretty good kicker. Seven to three. Well, I think Ed Thompson and uh, Steve Brixen are talking about it on the sideline right now. Just a little bit out of your, uh, I don't know, corner of your screen. Yep. There you go. There they are talking it over. That would be the brain trust. That's kind of like when you and I are talking up here in the booth. Yep. <laughs> if you got a field goal kicker that can kick it at an angle like that, or, you know, it's kind of a sideways kick. Yeah, it's not right down the middle you know, shot. That's why it's not automatic to just say, take the field goal, because it is a tough angle. But basically what you're doing is you're, you execute on a nine yard play and get your seven, or you come out of here down uh, seven to zip at half. But the positive part is you get the ball back. I think after we score a touchdown, we should just kick the extra point. Don't worry about running it. <laughs> How about that? Then we'll kick it. Let's get the touchdown first. I like your call before with uh, number 22 right here. Hey, they've gone to him uh, four times this quarter. Marafino is uh, four out of five throwing the ball, and he's hit uh, Seafeld each time. If I was West, I'd put a couple guys on him. Got to block one more time, boys. Yeah. 
Rolling. Why? Can't get a short man, and that's going to be the half. Why would we throw Had to short? go to the end zone. Well, at halftime, Green Bay West leads it 7 to nothing. Play a game. Let's pretend you own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. There are over 3,000 community TV stations across the country where 1.2 million volunteers produce over 20,000 hours of programming each week. Current legislation threatens to eradicate these stations by dramatically reducing funding. In the legislation's current form, stations across the country will lose 35 to 50 percent of their funding, which would bring production to a grinding halt. Contact Congress and tell them to vote no on H.R. 5252. Speak out now or lose your voice.
punches. How do you convince a 14-year-old girl that hair doesn't matter? When the diagnosis is childhood cancer, where can parents turn? CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. Hurricanes, tsunamis, wars, and earthquakes. Stories of disaster that dominate the news. What happens after the headlines fade? I'm Lou Rawls, and I'm proud to be working with an organization that continues to help people long after the headlines fade. Church World Service helps people rebuild, recover, and put their lives back together. You can provide help and hope to people in need. Please give generously to the Church World Service today. Back at North High School, where the Raiders trail at halftime, seven to nothing. Uh, Chris, we thought uh, West dominated on the offensive side, where in reality they only had 99 yards of total offense in that first half. Uh, but matters get even worse for North. They only had uh, 81 yards and uh, didn't do much uh, on the ground or in the air. They had 44 yards passing, all of them coming in the second quarter. Stefan Marafino was uh, four out of eight in that second quarter. He did hit uh, Nick Jones on one pass for six yards, and then he hit uh, Eric Seafeld three different times for a total of uh, 38 yards. Uh, that was probably the offensive highlight was that last drive uh, that took him from the 20 all the way down to the nine, 69 yards on that drive, but uh, came up short, and uh, they're going to have to get their second half offense going. Yeah, do the math there, 69 yards out of the, uh, what, What'd you say, 81? So they yeah. only had 12 besides that. You know, they just, West had the ball on their end of the field. You know, that's why I said they dominated. They had dominated time of possession. Uh, 
they controlled that and it was you're right you know, it came down to that last drive and you know just ran out of timeouts and ran out of plays to not score good thing is uh, your defense is not allowed a touchdown in the last uh, two and a half games that's a positive so get this offense on track get a score on the board get the uh, mojo back on your side and uh, see what happens. Let's see if we get a nice little kickoff return. Nice clean one. Get out to about the 35-yard line, 30-yard line here and uh, put some points on the board. It goes on Hummich back deep. Short kick by Lehman. They're looking for the onside. It goes out of bounds at the 35. I think what he's looking for, a little poocher over the front line and then get the recovery. I don't think that's a good idea. You're winning seven to nothing. Might as well push him back. Down there, why give him any chance here? Instead, uh, North will take over at the 35, just like I asked. Started about the 35. I think we heard a score at halftime. Southwest 35, South 0. Unbelievable. South that is was, unbelievable. South has been clicking and Southwest came here to North and got beat, and they go and beat Notre Dame, and now taking Week care. After, yeah, they're they're on oh. a hot streak. They're looking for a playoff spot. Yeah, they got they're two and two. Scott Malian's team, uh, boy, they came here laid an egg, but uh, all of a sudden they're uh, hit their stride. Ball's going to be spotted on the 35-yard line. It'll be first and ten North. Stefan Marafino, there you see him entering the huddle. And uh, North needs to get something going on offense. You're right, the defense uh, didn't give up a touchdown. Six quarters of play, it was the offense that gave it up. Ragoza the deep back. Inside handoff to Jones, pounding up the middle. And I think he's gonna be just short of the first down. I mentioned towards the end of the first half, you know, they didn't hit, give him the ball much. They might pound him here in the second half. We saw two weeks ago here against Southwest, he was the main man. Dragon uh, had just an outstanding offensive ground game that second half. See if he can carry that to this second half. What a difference, see field position. You started to 35, you're almost at midfield already. I mean, North spent the majority of that, that ball game in that first half on the other end. Thompson in motion. Inside handoff to Jones, he pounds forward. He gets over the 50 down into West Territory. You can't stop him, you can only try to contain him. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. We're gonna call it the 49. Give him a gain of seven on that last carry. Inside handoff to Ragozzi, he's hitting the backfield and uh, he's gonna be dropped for no gain. Good job by West, staying home. And misdirections just haven't been set up very well tonight. They just can't seem to get any of those for big gainers. I can tell you why it's not working. They're not getting the blocking up front long enough. Yeah. West is slipping the blocks at the line of scrimmage. Well, and then they're going right back into that big number 92 there, Daryl White. I mean, yeah. That seems to be the guy that's always standing in the way. And he's a big man. Seafelt wide to the right. Marafino under center. Hands it off to Jones. Trying to slip a tackler. Gets it down to about the 46. It's going to be third down. And seven. These are the kind of situations you don't want to get yourself into. That's why you got to keep uh, positive yardage each, uh, mm -hmm. each down, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Good point. Fake handoff. Marafino is going to take it. He could. He's go. down oh, to the oh, 30, way. down to the 20, down to the 10, into the end zone. Touchdown, Stefan Marafino. 46 yards. How about that? 
I don't think he realized there was so much open territory over there. You mean I got to run all that <laughs> way? <laughs> and again, a very, there you see it, good blocking. Oh, is it wide open? Now there's a case where the defense certainly didn't follow their rules. Nope. And a very important extra point coming up. Yep, you have uh, Vandewater getting ready to boot it. Marafino, who just did all that running, he's got to make sure he catches it. Good. It is up and good, and that ties the score with 9.35 remaining in the third quarter at 7. Lightning has struck. We'll be right back. No more, do more. Is she thirsty or diabetic? Is he tired or arthritic? Subtle behavioral changes can be early signs of disease in pets. These changes are often less obvious in cats, which can be better than dogs at hiding illness. But a wellness exam from your veterinarian twice a year can help detect, treat, or prevent many health problems before they become serious. So call your veterinarian and schedule your pet's wellness exam today. Is how can do it. <laughs> and it's a very, very, very nice crowd here at homecoming at North. Went, now they have something to yell about. Yeah, went down there and the stands are full. And you know, all through halftime, the only thing they had to cheer about, Chris, was the band. <laughs> <laughs> now they have something to cheer about on the field. Let's get a good kickoff and keep him deep. Got to be careful about that Anthony Lehman. He's a burner, number 10. Short kick. Taken by Lardnoise, I believe that is. Boom! The captain, pardon me, number one. Greg Walker literally flying in there <laughs> to make the tackle. First and 10, though, the ball is going to be spotted at about the 32-yard line. So West has pretty good field position. And Lawrence Welk's back this week again. <laughs> <laughs> really? All the bubbles are coming in the booth at halftime. <laughs> so if you got little spots on your papers from popping bubbles. First and 10. Wide receivers, left and right. Inside handoff to Rogenbauer. He slips one tackler before he's hit down at about the 38-yard line. Pick up a six yards. Number eight, David Thompson has an outstanding ball game himself. He's been all over the field tonight. He has not missed a tackle. We're all tied up. There's nine minutes remaining in the third quarter at seven. And the short side of the field, West has three wide receivers off to the right. The short side, let's see if they go to the wide side to the lone man. Fake handoff, Lehman keeps it. He's hit at behind the line of scrimmage and he's dragged down for a loss. Good play by the Raiders. Ben Good Chambers. penetration. Yep, that's that tackling we saw a couple weeks ago and obviously carrying over Ben Chambers. Making the play, 6'1", 192 pound senior. Loss of one, makes it third down and five. Big third down play, you wanna hold him here. Lehman under center this time. Rogenbauer the deep back. Hand off to him, second back through. And he's hit at the line of scrimmage, is going to be short of the first down. I believe that ball carrier was Reggie Mitchell, number 32. TJ Carter, I believe, on the play. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth down and about three or four. Let's see what West does. Seafelt is back deep. Dustin Dupart, 45, had a great punt. 
in the second quarter that uh, set up their uh, West lone touchdown on a fumble by North. Let's see what he does with this one. Not quite as high, but a nice spiral. Seafelt makes a good catch at the 32, and then he's hit down at about the 39. <laughs> that was the case where I think they set up uh, blocking to the left, and he decided to run right. And, and uh, he there, paid the price. <laughs> there's a lot of white shirts there. I don't know which, which way was not correct, but uh, nice uh, three and out there by your defense. Not many of those in the first half. You get a good shot of Steve Brixen and Dave Lubach from the press right in the middle of the action. That's your Sheboygan press at work. Yeah, he's probably whispering plays. You know, back when I was in school, this really worked. <laughs> and yeah. when were you in school? <laughs> Thompson the deep back Marafino first back through is Jones he gets it up over the 40 but not much over all of a sudden coach Brixton calls Marafino and gets his hand out and starts drawing up plays like this hey run this one <laughs> yeah <laughs> like we used to do it here school on the sand a lot yeah sand lot Second down, second down and nine. Tight formation by the Raiders. Quick pitch, trying to cut it back, but being knocked down. Andrews. Ian Andrews. Ian has not had a lot of carries tonight. Matter of fact, I believe that's his first one, Chris. And uh, give him one yard on that play. And it's third and eight. And even giving him a yard was generous because he didn't get much. All right, big third down play. North trying to hold possession. We're at uh, 5.55 and counting. Marafino straight back, little swing pass out to Jones, trying to get his footing, he does. Trying to barrel forward, he gets through the, and then he fumbles the ball, who's got it? West jumping up and down, they think they have it. Let's see what the, the call is, it is West ball. And they're gonna have great field position. Well, Jones made a nice catch, he kept his balance, Chris, and got the first down, and as he is struggling forward, that's when he lost it. Yeah, going for that extra effort, which he does, and you like the way he gave the effort, but you gotta hang on to the launch and there it. you saw it. Too bad, because it would have been a first down probably for North. Instead, good field position for West. The 10 yard pickup, all for naught. That's the second catch for uh, Jones in the ball game. But West has it. Inside handoff to Rogenbauer. He struggles forward, gets it over the 50-yard line into North Territory. Pick up a three. Three wide receivers off to the right, one to the left. Anthony Lehman in the shotgun, Rogenbauer to his left. North's defense spread all over, trying to cover this offense. Bullet pass in and out of the hands of the wide receiver, and then he gets it back in. What happened there, Chris? I'd love to see the replay. I thought it went right through the hands of John LeCaptain, but apparently not. I think it did go through it. Maybe it hit Rolsey there, and it popped right back to him. We'll have to maybe see it on a replay, because uh, you're right here. You'll see it. It goes through Point. off the oh. North guy. It wasn't a Rolsey. It was off... Uh, Number six, uh, Martin Alvarez, and right back to the receiver. What a bad break for North. Well, Coach Walters there, he's got the down marker there. There's the Olsons, the Kleins. Becker's up there. And just short, so it's gonna be third down and one. Coach Walters had it right, he had the marker right there. You see him, he's doing the down markers. Where was he in the first half on that fourth down play? 
<laughs> Remember? And they're like a chain link short. Bad break on the fumble. Yeah, you know, another half up. half a yard, it would have been out of bounds. You know, here right. you got a player, you know. All righty. Daryl White, number 92 in the ball game. Uh -oh. Look for him to get it. Refrigerator White. North stacking a line of scrimmage. Be careful, they might send somebody deep. It's only third down. No, it's uh, Lehman keeps it, barrels up through the middle. And he's gonna have a first down. You know, when you got that guy in the backfield, that might not be a bad play. Fake it, throw one deep on third down. What the heck? And come back on fourth down with the big guy. First down, 10. Ball spotted on the 40. There you see the clock rolling down. It's tied at seven. Three yards by Lehman on that carry. Could use a stop right here. Wide to the right is uh, Brandon Lardnoise. Uh, he's a weapon out there. You gotta keep track of that number three. Reverse. Coming through is Jones and he gets him in the backfield. Or is that Seafelt, Chris? Eric Seafelt. Why does that 22 look like a 32? There you're gonna see it right here in motion was Gajewski, and Seafeld makes a stop. Good play. Yep, no gain on the play. Where's that second and long? I like that no gainer. That's right. Do it to them. Eric Seafeld on a great fill on a reverse play. Lehman, ball right through the hands of David Thompson. You know, he's swatting at the ball, went right through and they make the catch. Can't catch a break. Nope. Good pass and catch. It's gonna be third down and five. Thank goodness the play was only for five yards. Keep your eye on Lehman here. White the up back, Rogan Bauer, swinging off, swinging off. Coming through is North and he's tacked. Good play by Nick Jones. Way back at the 45. No, they're gonna spot it up at the 42 yard line. Hung on to the ball too long, son. Watch ya. Yeah, you better get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Oop, now you're gonna be got rid of Kerplunk. Fourth down and 12. And he felt back deep. Wow, look at how far back he is for the snap. <laughs> 15 yards. Ooh, nice snap though, right there. Here's a weapon. Get rolling Seafield this time. calling a fair catch, makes it at about the 15 or 16 yard line. North has got a long way to go. They're losing the field possession battle, Chris, here in the third quarter. There's 2.16 remaining. We're still tied at seven. And uh, let's run that 46 yarder. Let's run that play. Yeah. You think he could make it about another 20 yards? <laughs> he was dying at the end. Yeah, the field possession, excuse me, field position tonight has been all in West Territory. Like I said, it just not a lot of short fields for North. North has given up that field possession game and it's so difficult for high school teams to motor down the field. That's what did it for North in that Southwest game. You know, they got that short short field late in the ball game. We're yep. able to punch it in. Ball on the 16, first and 10. Hand off to Jones. He barrels over a tackler. He's still on his feet, still on his feet, and he's knocked down at the 30-yard line. 14 yards for Nick Jones. Coach Brixson just probably told him, you know, what happened before, we can forgive you. This time we're gonna give you the ball first time and see what you can do and look at him make up for right there with a good heart and effort. Plunging over the 30, get yourselves out of trouble. 
I know you're going to carry the ball again. Just Ragoza, Deppies, and uh, Jones in the backfield. Seafelt wide right. Inside handoff. And not much there for the North High ball carrier, Nick Jones. Jones has carried it six times so far in the quarter. Thirty-four yards. Good second down. Good job by the officials, always wiping down the ball after every uh, possession. And hey, they ought to do something for that money they make. Yeah. <laughs> Ragoza, fake hand off to him. Marafino fires it up over the middle. He's got his receiver, first down north, over the 40 yard line. Real close to the line of scrimmage, Marty, and Lewis that official is looking thing. right there. Thompson was, on the catch. Yeah, good catch there, watch this play. And Mike Mikowski on that play against the Bears, he was over the line of scrimmage too. He didn't call Just it. before it. <laughs> Give me a break. And it was right, uh, that official is looking right down the line there. He's, he was watching even at the end to make sure it was all right. Ball on the 43-yard line. That was a 13-yard completion, Chris. Marafino, two for two in the quarter. Inside handoff. And barreling up to the 45. I believe that was Nick Jones. That was a slow developing close. play there. Clock winding down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. Second down and eight, pick up a two for Jones. Pretty well balanced this quarter, Chris, in terms of uh, possession by both clubs. Fake hand off to Jones, a little flip pass out to Ragoza, makes a fine catch, and he gets it down inside the 40 yard line. Real nice catch by Cesar, good pitch by Marafino, a good pitch and catch by the Raiders. I like that play, nice and safe. You know, you're staying away from a lot of defenders where turnovers can happen, well, just put know, it up there. You know, the other thing is that running game of Jones help because they faked it to him, that kind of held the linebackers a little bit. And the clock running down, that's gonna be the end of the third quarter. Norris scored on a 46 yard run by Steph, scramble actually by Stefan Marafino to tie it up. And uh, after three quarters of play at homecoming, 2006 here at North High, it's all tied up at seven apiece. It's how you're feeling inside, keeping you from going outside. If chronic diarrhea, severe abdominal pain, or rectal bleeding are tying you to the bathroom, maybe it's serious, like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. See a gastroenterologist. Early diagnosis can make treatment easier. Get on with your life. Get help. Get better. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. Dignity, hope, and one day, a cure. Contact us for a free information kit. There are over 3,000 community TV stations across the country where 1.2 million volunteers produce over 20,000 hours of programming each week. Current legislation threatens to eradicate these stations by dramatically reducing funding. In the legislation's current form, stations across the country will lose 35 to 50 percent of their funding, which would bring production to a grinding halt. Contact Congress and tell them to vote no on H.R. 5252. Speak out now or lose your voice. Marafino, the big rushing leader, Chris. One carry for 46 yards. There you see Jimmy with his head turned. Turn around, Jimmy. There he is. <laughs> there you go. Thompson, a wing to the right. Hand off to Ragoza, trying to get deep. Slips by one tackler, slips by another, and he's wrestled down near the 25-yard line. Good quick burst by Cesar Ragoza. I was thinking the same thing, Marty. Good speed there. Boy, was he kind of turns up a shift there. And hey, I want to know how the smallest team in Division I, Sheboygan North, is wearing down <laughs> Green Bay West because that's exactly what it looks like. 13-yard pickup down to the 26 by Ragoza. Giving him a little bit of this and a little bit of that up the middle, outside, swing passes. 
Thompson and Ragoza flanking Nick Jones. Now Thompson goes to a wing right. Marafino under center. No split ends for North. Ooh. Jones hit right at the line of scrimmage and pushed back. I, mean, I didn't see any flags down, but I'll tell you, it didn't look good again at the line of scrimmage. Nope. I don't know what it was. Marafino's even at. Well, looked like the line was quick off the ball, quicker than the center was snapping it, but... Uh, quicker than the officials. <laughs> yeah, really. It was quicker than a Roger Clemens fastball. No gain on the play. Second down and uh, 10. Ball spotted on the 26-yard line. Fake. Well, they give it to Andrews, and he's hitting the backfield back to about the 20 four yard line, uh, pardon me, that outside the 30. Reggie Mitchell with a good play there. Near just the 29, pardon me, a loss of five. Everything was just moving and all of a sudden, two big stops by West. Third and a long 13. Yeah, loss of three on the play, my bad. May have to put it up this down. Seafelt splitting out to the right. Well, you could Paul be two down territory. Let's see. I think you're going to throw two, but I won't be surprised with the run. Jones alone set back. Marafino straight back, firing deep, looking for Seafelt. He makes a nice one-handed catch. Touchdown, Sheboygan North. Flag down. Just wait. Well, I got a feeling if it's a flag, it's going to be offensive pass interference. That's how I thought. Uh, I thought Seafelt pushed off. Let's see at the end. Good throw by Marafino. Let's touchdown, see what does. touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Nope, they're giving him a touchdown. He caught a little bit late. Actually, I thought Seafell pushed off. I yeah, really I did. did. They're calling it on West. Pass, the penalty is declined. It's a touchdown, Sheboygan North. And Marafino is turning out to be the star of the game, Chris. Wow. Long touchdown run and a long touchdown pass. Well, where the flag is, is right now, it looked you know, it must have been done earlier because you're right, about the two yard line or right by the end zone, Seafell looked like it got a little bit of an arm bar, which is good coaching technique, by the way, to, get, to break That's away. That's what you teach Tommy, right, in that flag football? <laughs> it's not flag for him anymore. It's, that's what we teach in the yard. Kick is up and good. And with 9.51 remaining in the ball game, North goes on top, 14 to seven. school Chris that was a heck of a drive yeah it was hmm. and uh, they started on their 30 started on their 16 that would make it an 84 yard drive well Ex extending from the end of the third and then now into the fourth quarter so what did you and Eric have to say did you think it was a we, we thought the pass interference probably occurred about the five or the six he was kind of pushed and then maybe the the later thing took place but he was out of flag so he couldn't call it is what I probably said but uh, Something that's important is now all of a sudden on the west sideline, they're starting to think to themselves, oh, here we go again. We're 0-6, you know, we're 0-4, yeah. everything's going bad. So I thought it was very important for North not only to get that first touchdown, but the second one, have to start putting doubts into the minds of the, the Wildcats. Kickoff taken at about the 18-yard line. Oh, and the west uh, runner gets knocked down. That was Scott Alvey on the return, but uh, not much doing for him. And on the same thing, now uh, I say West having doubts. The Golden Raiders believe, they believe they can win this game now. Our defense has been strong all night. Our offense is starting to pick up here. Two touchdowns on the board here, so things are all positive for, for gold and blue, and right now, doubts on the other sidelines. 
First down and 10 ball on the 24 yard line. Anthony Lehman's been at the controls all night for West. He's back there along with Bo Rogenbauer, number 12. Fakes to the right, goes to the left. Rogenbauer knocked out of bounds near the 30 yard line. I like that play. That is a nice play, a little misdirection. Gives Rogenbauer some room to run. Here you'll see it again. Fake one way, go the other. You're hoping that the gold shirts all kind of go to the left. But a good job, as you can see right there on your film, and you can watch tonight, boys. You stayed home, that was a good job there of uh, Staying in, you know, in your proper uh, lanes and proper assignments, I guess would be a better term. Second down and four. Inside handoff, running back, trying to barrel forward is Reggie Mitchell. Matt Rolsey. He met Matt Rolsey and TJ Carter. Yep. Pick up a one, makes a third down and three. Let's make it a gain of two. And that would make a third down and two. Lehman looking left and right. Dropping straight back. Looking to run. Oh, got by one tackler. He gets a block, and then he goes out of bounds over the 40-yard line. Well, the North defender had the right idea, just lost his balance. Let's see who that young man was off on the lower part of your screen. That was Matt Rolsey, I think it was 35, wasn't it? Slipped down. Well, Green Bay West, I believe, you know, like I said, they, they don't, haven't done well for the last 20 years or so, but I believe they have the most conference championships. Oh, yeah, by far. And uh, this is the end of the FRVC, so as we know it. So they'll finish with the most championships. Yep. It's very sad to see that when that comes to an end. Layman, Layman, Layman. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Hummer. Layman gets knocked down but he's inside the 30 yard or pardon me inside the 40 yard line and he was just that far away from going all the way Chris yeah Nate homage with his speed is the one who could stop him there told you he's scary and he's got outside yeah. of the contain and watch number two here Nate homage get a paw on him and down he goes ball is at the 36 yard line Hummer's got problems with his uh, helmet. That was a 22 yard pickup, Chris. Kind of reminds you, I just think it kind of reminds you of Fran Tarkenton in a way. Same number. Yeah. Same color right. uniform. Yeah. Ooh. Hate those Vikings. 825 and counting. North on top, 14 to 7, but West is driving mainly on the legs of Anthony Lehman. Inside handoff to Rogenbauer. No, Reggie Mitchell. Mitchell on the carry. Pick up a four yards on the play for Mitchell. Getting a little scary here. A little yeah. nervous. Uh, for sure. Lehman's got a good arm. He's got some wide receivers that can catch the ball. Well, he's got good feet. Mitchell hit at the line of scrimmage, trying to battle forward, but great gang tackling by the Raiders. And the five or six men on that tackle getting off the bottom of the pile was Jones. And Hummer's strap just is not staying together. Be better off to just give him somebody else's strap. Third down and six. Timeout north. Timeout north. 
We're going to take a short time out and be right back with uh, 7.06 remaining in the ball game. North on top, 14 to 7. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? It's one of the floats for uh, homecoming 2006. I think they're trying to deflate the football of Green Bay West. That should be the theme for that one. Well, we'll go with it and run with it, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing you, you'll make me do it. <laughs> All righty. Coming out of the timeout. Was that by North, right? Yes, sir. All right. It's third down and six. West has three wide receivers off to the left. Lehman at quarterback, barking out the signals. Dropping straight back, dancing, dancing, coming right up the middle. He's through the line of scrimmage. He's got the first down. They better get him down or he's going to go for a score. They do get him down, but it's going to be near the 10-yard line. Man alive. You know, I think he drops back with the intention of running. He doesn't want to throw the ball. Yep, I think that's all called right there. And he dances too, you know, he looks back. And you know it because, the, you know, one of the smart things to do is read the linemen because the, if the linemen are coming downfield, you know, then they can't throw, so it's got to be a run. So then, you know, you have to read that, you know, and 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 see that, and that's where you got to get, you know, your secondary and linebacker help. You know, it's a run, and you got to be screaming. It's got to be a run, 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 because the linemen are downfield. If they throw it, it's illegal. Another 20 yards for Lehman. He's got uh, 42 so far, 52 on this uh, possession. Reverse. Uh oh. Trying to get to the end zone was Gajewski, but he was knocked down short, but he's inside the five yard line. You're gonna see it. Play's gonna go off to the right, and then they come back to the left, and uh, defense did get fooled that time, Chris. They didn't uh, hold their position very well. Nope, and uh, it's a 10 yard gain. They have first and goal at the two. That young man was smart. He would have kept going outside. up Chris 627 remaining in the ball game stoppage of play they're calling the chain gang out to measure for the first down apparently coach Walters already has it a first down Here at North High, they play the Jeopardy music every time the mystery's out. Either way for uh, West, they're in a good situation. They're either second uh, and less. Than, it is yeah, a first down. I was going to say, they're, <laughs> they have nothing but positive things to get out of this. How about a fumble and North returns at 98 yards? Hey, Martin Alvarez has done that already this year. I think it was 97, though, but uh, we need we'll something like We'll take 97. We'll go first and goal on the one. <laughs> <laughs> right? No, it's a run clock. <laughs> yeah, really. All right. Uh-oh. Daryl White, number 92, <laughs> is the up back. Reggie Mitchell, number 32, is the deep back. Look for Mitchell to run behind White. Going off tackle. Following White. And North does a good job of stacking it up. And guess who was in the end zone standing up? Daryl White. You're supposed to be hitting somebody, Daryl. Well, they followed him, and he creates a gap. <laughs> but uh, don't be surprised if it's a quarterback sneak or going to, I wouldn't even exchange here. I gotta give Wes credit. Said bad teams normally uh, pack oh. it in, but this is not the case as they were very stubborn on this drive. 
Lehman uh, is going to take the center from uh, Tyler Maddock, number 55, is center. Tyler's done a great job all night. No. Mitchell didn't follow White that time, and he got stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. He should have lost yardage on that one. See where they spot the ball. I think they did spot it back, actually. Chris, it might be back at the two-yard line now. Yes. Loss of one. Good eyes, Marty. You and Bill Wagner right there all over that. It's not always that uh, you and Wags are together on your lines. Well, but. sometimes he's wrong upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Third down and goal. Come on, two more times, boys. No Lehman way. keeps it. No way. That's in, not going to. North do. pushing him sideways. Can they get him back? Seafelt still grabbing him, and the whistle blows, and they're not going to get a touchdown. It's going to be fourth down and goal. But he did get it closer. I think he gained a yard or so. Still going to be down near the one, maybe a little inside. We'll give him one yard on that play. Fourth and goal. North making a great stand so far. Can they do it one more play? Three cracks from the two and they couldn't get in and uh, not once did they go to white. Do you think you go wide? No. I think you, I would, uh, I'd spread them out, but uh, I think they well, got wide receivers left and right this time. White, the 330 pound fullback. Mitchell, the tailback. And we get a whistle and timeout Green Bay West. We're at 342 remaining in the fourth quarter. Carry in the truck is not looking happy because we might be looking at an overtime. By the way, before we go any further, I want to mention the crew tonight. We have uh, Fritz Zank and Steve Reiner doing the up camera, splitting duty up there. Brian Andrews in his normal spot down on the field is the field cameraman. Kerry Coutzer spinning the dials in the truck. My partner is Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin, and uh, we're bringing you a great ball game tonight, Chris. This has been a dandy. It is a good game, and uh, one more time, boys. I know you mentioned it before, but I'll tell you, West has played a heck of a ball game tonight. You know, they had nothing to go for, you know, 1 6, and uh, things not looking up, but uh, they're certainly not playing like an 0 6 team tonight. Nope. And uh, one more stop for the North, guys. This is where weight training and pizzas come into play. Bring on the pizza. <laughs> The heck with the weights. <laughs> All righty, here we go. Let's Ball see. is spotted at about the one yard line. Lehman, the quarterback. White remains the fullback, and Mitchell, the halfback. Another whistle. Timeout, West again. Uh, I believe they have one left. Yep, we can look up on the board the brand new scoreboard and tells us that you're correct and again that's no fun <laughs> the answer is right there I'm surprised they don't go to Daryl White I'm surprised they didn't at least give him the first chance because he had he had two carries in the first quarter Chris he uh, picked up let me take a look he picked up uh, three yards and then he picked up two yards and all they need is one yard so it might not be a bad strategy But uh, to be honest with you, if I was West, I'd I'd let uh, my quarterback just keep it, just the exchange. But I was just surprised that they didn't give it to him earlier, I think is what I'm saying. Yeah, I hear you. Now I'd have to go with the sneak. Here we go again, but we still have timeouts to burn. North doesn't want to burn any. They ain't going to need theirs. Here we go. Fourth and goal. Get him, Hummer. Hey, stop them. Nate, Great pursuit. Nate Hummage and David Thompson, Marty. Hummer and his speed. 
stopped him, waited for the containment. Watch number two and watch number eight. Here we go, look at this play. Now watch Hummer, go! There, take that. Knocked him down. Wow, wow. It's gonna be first and 10 for North. Ball is at the one yard line, Chris. Holy cow, they better handle it now. Well, they gotta handle it. A safety won't hurt you as bad as the Sixers. Oh, there's a lot of motion going on. There, no penalties? I didn't see a flag come down. No, and I think he did fumble the ball, Marty. Marafino fell forward, or was that Thompson took no. the handoff? Marafino fumbled the football. Timeout West. Wow, that's rare. 323 and you're using your last timeout. Well, let's talk strategy, Chris. What do you do if you're north on offense? Boy, I tell you, it's been scary down there. Well, that was the right call. Is just have a quarterback keeper to get yourself out of there. Um, but again, you know, you gotta hang on to that football. You've already got three turnovers today and how many more drops? This is not the place to be putting the ball on the carpet. Uh, I'd go to my man, number 32 right here. He's been getting some big, big yards. Great shot of the clock, Brian, showing us uh, what's at stake. And you see that big zero off to the right-hand side. Timeouts left, TOL, none for West. You get a first down. Get a first down. I Whew. just about put the ball game away. Whew. And I can see actually probably what uh, Coach uh, Wittick was thinking is we're gonna try and preserve as much clock as possible, which uh, isn't necessarily a bad strategy. All right, we got wing backs left and right. Jones alone, fullback behind Marafino. Inside handoff, not much going there. And I think the running back was Thompson. That's correct. And David had that swallowed up there. And uh, picked up a yard. Going is awfully tough down there. West, uh, again, playing a good ball game. It's uh, third down and eight. Coming in the ball game for North is uh, Noel Deppies, and coming out is Thompson. Hang on to the ball, boys. That's the main thing. This game is far from over. Gregoza splitting out his Seafelt, and now we get a timeout north. I think they're That's getting their second timeout. I think they're getting pretty close to the, the, uh, the you know, clock. Yeah, the clock. Getting a penalty. Because I was watching, and it was getting down there. Well, you know, you go back to that uh, second quarter play, you know, and it just makes you so leery about handling the ball down near the end zone. It's like, oh, get it out the midfield. Yep, yep, and uh, you know, coaches love this. I mean, it's tight, and this is what you- You only you, love it when you win. That's right, but <laughs> you're winning now, and but you know, this is tight game that a kite, you know, barn burner a couple of weeks ago, and barn burner here. Who's that running on the track down there talking to Chris Lenz? You know her? <laughs> I'm trying to come up with some antidote here of, <laughs> of oh, must be ice or something in the stands. Too All much. righty, here we go. It's a third and eight ball on the three yard line. Ragoza in motion. Inside hand, no. Marafino fires it out. Deppies has it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 10-yard line. I think he's going to be short. Spot is Erg. Well, and the problem is close. it stops the clock, too. It's close. Yeah, I don't. Oh, it's, here you're going to see it on replay. Let me see 14 come out. Deppies. It's a nice, a nice pass, catch. but and he's knocked out of bounds. Right at the 10. About a seven-yard pickup on the play. Well, this is not the worst case here for a timeout to talk to your defensive team here, to Hummer. You know, you gotta know here, 
if you're going to be rushed, you'd rather take a safety than a block because they're going to be coming. Watch number 15 on the outside here. Oh, I just said. Punt it away. Punt is away. Got a nice bounce. It's going to roll into West Territory at the 49-yard line, a 41-yard punt. Oh, boy. Bad snap. Oh Get my. your shortstop glove out. Nate Hummage there. Hummer. Oh my. You are the man. I can't. I didn't think there was a lot of, lot of space to kick that in there. As I said. 218 remaining, Chris. Uh, with the way West runs their offense, they're going to get, I think they're going to get the ball down into North Territory pretty far. I, I, I hate to say it, but that's what I think. Uh, All right, Rogenbauer is the tail, is the back along with uh, Lehman in the backfield. No timeouts left for West. One sack is what we need. Lehman. Get him. Get him, Buckner. Get him. And he's going to be hit right at the 50-yard line. Mark Robitaille, you're right there. Good play, number 10. Damon Buckner right there. I thought Buckner made the play because he held. And now we get officials timeout. And why is this? Come on, roll a clock. Yeah, let him. Jeez. I just hate this, Chris. 159 remaining. Oh, this is, come on. Why don't you let him go back in the huddle and call a play? Go over and talk to the coach quick. You know, they got no timeouts left. There might be some kind of an equipment issue. We're not quite sure what they're talking about. We'll have to ask coach after the game what was going on. That stinks. Hey, hey, settle down up here. <laughs> I think so too. Roll the clock. Why don't you just let them sit there? Yeah, right, wait till we're all set and ready to go. Lehman, deep inside position. Good play by Sheboygan Norse. Martin Alvarez, there's a Jefferson grad for you. That guy learned his stuff in gym class, baby. <laughs> well, he did the right thing. He didn't go in. He has the right to go down the field, and that's all he did. The only thing he could have done is maybe look for the ball a little bit just to fool the uh, official, but he did the right thing. You do not want anybody back behind you there. Would and, you believe uh, that was only the second pass attempt by West in the quarter? Is that something or what? Third down. Lehman back deep, looking, looking. He wants to scramble. He can't get away. Yes, he does. Looking, firing. Oh. Incomplete. Almost a great catch. I didn't catch a number of that. Number one. Number one, John LeCaptain oh. making a great attempt, but he wasn't able to come up with it. Check the replay on this. The guy makes a heck of a play. Yes, he does. Watch Lehman, and he comes back for the ball as a good receiver does, but he just doesn't catch it. Oh. You know what I think? I think his cleat got caught and you know and he tumbled over and you know, lost his balance basically is what I'm saying. Ball game. Fourth down and ten. Ball game right here, right now. Timeout. Sheboygan North. Now it's okay, Chris. Because Sheboygan North called it. <laughs> that doesn't stink. <laughs> well, I wish the student section, instead of discussing what they're going to do for the next 48 hours, would support their boys. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what, they should be cheering and hollering and hooting and make a lot of racket right here, because this is the ball game. I mean, they get this and they win. Don't let anyone get behind you. Keep your lanes if you're in the front line. Linebackers, don't drop too deep. Keep an eye on number 10. Most of all, tackle. They stop him here. It's victory time. Take a knee time. Oh, hooting and hollering out on the field trying to get his mates going is Mike Granke, 86. Here we go, it's fourth down. Hey, they woke up a little bit. Now we got some noise. Now you figured it out. Lehman back has good protection, no. still dropping. 
He's gonna run, now he passes, he's got a receiver up, and Rogenbauer can't hang on, on his fingertips. And the ball is dropped, North takes possession. 137 left. Oh, I'll tell you, North caught a break there, that ball should have been caught. Yep, here you'll see it on replay. Again, good. 12 slipping out, slipping out. There he goes. How'd he miss it? Oh, and he probably could have scored. Take a knee. Take a couple knees. All right, there's 137 left. Clock will start running on the snap of the ball. Nick Jones is gonna set up as a back about 10 yards back in a victory formation. Marafino takes a knee. Clock will run. Clock running, we're at 119. Marafino takes a knee again. Clock continues to run. We're at 50, 50 seconds and counting. Forty seconds and counting. Marafino checking with the official how much time is left before they need to snap the ball. We're down to 25 seconds and counting. Another knee. Actually fell down on his back, but it doesn't matter. That'll be the last play of the game. 15 seconds and counting. North is gonna come up with a homecoming win. 14 to seven over Green Bay West, who played a very spirited ball game tonight. They have nothing to hold their heads down for. They played excellent tonight and uh, pushed North right to the limit. And there you see Steve Brixen running out. And that's the ball game. North the winner, 14 to seven. We're gonna step out. When we come back, Chris Wright will have some interviews with a couple of the winning Raiders. Congratulations on the promotion. I hope you're saving the extra money. You gotta put it in stocks. If you wanna get ahead. No, no, bonds. And oh, CDs. Cap, you you know. Get a balance. Oh, you can do Stick it under the mattress. <laughs> you want to Getting plenty of advice, but not enough facts? Visit saveandinvest.org. No confusing advice, no sales pitch. Just unbiased information and tools to help you manage your money with confidence. Saveandinvest.org. Spread the word. Noise. There's more of it in your life than you think. Everyday sounds from household appliances to traffic. Even a crowded restaurant can hit 85 decibels. That's the level audiologists know can cause permanent hearing loss. So keep an eye on your ears and visit ASHA.org, the American Speech Language Hearing Association. At North High School, Chris is standing by on the floor, on the field with a couple of the winning ball players from North. Thanks, Marty. Uh, happy uh, Raiders here, Mark Rotai. We'll start with you. Uh, part of that big, that huge line of yours. That's always well, not huge, but uh, let's put it this way: a lot of heart in you guys. You got a lot of huge hearts, and it seems like every team you guys play is just a lot bigger than you. But you seem to get a lot of holes for your guys. Yeah, we just we go in there and we uh, play technique. We play with our speed and we get low and keep driving, move our feet. Doesn't matter how big these guys are, does it? No, you just, 
You just got to keep going. Never give it, give in. Coach is always telling us, never throw in the towel. Just keep it going. Uh, my partner, Mike Martin, made a good comment. He said, you know what? You know, Sheboygan North might have the smallest offensive line in Division One, but it seemed like you guys were wearing down West as the game went on. Yeah, at the beginning of the year, we really started condition. We were running a lot, and I think it really paid off. I mean, I play both ways, and you just get used to it, and you just keep going, and we're just a little bit smaller, so we don't have that much weight to carry around. Well, if anyone wants to play football in the future, you can't tell them they're going to be running all the time. <laughs> but it's all right. The, the running's good for you, though, right? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations, Mark, and enjoy your home. Kind of. Eric, you guys have really come along the last couple weeks, uh, winning streak and everything like that. You guys have really come together as a squad. Oh, yeah. The, um, the first four games, I don't know what really happened, but the last couple games we've been at practice, we've been trying our hardest, doing whatever coach wants us to do, and we just come out with victories. What can I say? West is one of those teams, too, that I was I was really scared about their speed. And, uh, you know, somebody with you and Hummer back there, I uh, you know, it's I'm glad you guys had a little quickness to counteract their speed because they did have some quick guys. That Lehman kick was, kid was really fast. All we got to do is just break on the ball. That's all we got to do. Well, I thought you guys did a real nice job on there uh, with that. Um, that Lehman kid's running all over the place, but it seems like you really stay with your assignments, too. The defense, you know, Coach Tagle's really had you guys going. I don't think you guys given up a touchdown now on uh, defense for the last three games. That's just unbelievable. I know, it's unbelievable. Who, who's ever heard of a North team ever playing that good on defense? But I just got to give up to the entire team. So the team victory. Yeah, I think Coach Tagle does a real nice job of scouting the groups too. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. He knows exactly what to do. He watches the game film. He just tells us what to do, and we do it. Well, congratulations. Enjoy your homecoming. David came down there to the end there. Uh, Hummer got over there on that one play, and then you kind of, you know, he kind of did the contain and the hit, and then you kind of closed the deal there. But, uh, oh, with that layman kick it out there, I was a little worried. Yeah, yeah, he's a quick guy. I, Coach Tago told me just watch the quarterback. I had to contain the outside. So he got around me at first because he's quick, but I caught up with him. Hummer and I did the job. Yeah, I also thought, too, you, you've been carrying the ball the last couple weeks, too. That's got to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I was really excited to get in on offense now, and line's doing a great job these past few weeks, giving me some good holes to work with, so... Seems like too, not with your backfield too. It's you know you got Andrews in there and you got you know Deppies in. There. You got a whole bunch of guys that are getting the ball. You know uh, Caesar's been running. I mean, I mean you just saw a whole different bunch of guys that people got to watch for. Yeah, any one of our backs has the ability to be the star running back, and we got a lot of them on our team. And great thing about our offense, we can have them all on the field at once. So I think that's a really good thing for our team. Last thing I'm going to just say, uh, you and Matt have been kind of buddies since growing up, and it's just kind of neat. And I mean, you guys really do a heck of a job together between the two of you guys. That's got to be fun from all those years from when you were younger to now. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Who would have thought two neighbors growing up like this and now been on varsity since last year, and now we're only juniors, so it should be fun. Well, good luck this week, boys. you got a little bit of work up in Notre Dame, and then next week, the big showdown in two weeks. Sheboygan North's got to win one out of two to make the playoffs. We'll be back here in two weeks to see if that happens. We'll send it back to Marty. Great job on the interviews, Chris. Some yardage totals for tonight's ball game. North got it together on offense in the second half. They had 92 yards rushing, 65 passing for 157 yards in the second half, 238 total yards for the ball game. West struggled in both halves. They only had 17 yards passing in the second half. They did get 69 rushing, 48 of those by uh, their fine quarterback, Anthony Lehman. They finished up with uh, 185 total yards. They actually gained yes, less yards in the second half than they did in the first. A North trailing seven to nothing at halftime on a fumble recovery in the end zone by West. Uh, they had pinned North back at the five yard line on the first play from scrimmage. North fumbled it backwards, West recovered, and that's how they scored in the first half. North came out in the third quarter and uh, ran the ball pretty effectively, but it was a 46-yard scramble by Stefan Marafino that uh, tied up the ball game at seven apiece. And then North took the lead in the fourth quarter late on a 29-yard Marafino to Eric Seafelt pass. And Chris uh, interviewed Eric at the end of the ball game, and that was the win for North, 14 to seven. For the crew, Fritz Zank and Steve Reiner on the top camera. There you see Fritz next to me. Brian Andrews on the field camera. Kerry Kautzer, our director tonight, spinning the dial. I'm Mike Martin for my partner Chris Wright saying so long, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week when uh, TV8 is at Lutheran when they face Cedar Grove at Kohler High School. See you, everybody. Bye-bye.